The Canadian wilderness can be an inspiring place. Everywhere you go, there is wildlife and there is nothing quite like tracking that wildlife down. For example, you could maybe use the footprints that you see in the earth or even get your ear close to the ground and listen to the who's of the wildlife. But there is perhaps one better way than that, using a massive aerial such as this. Now, how does it work? It works. In fact, the, the moose wear a collar in their neck, so this, ma this machine will cap the signal and transmit it to this little... So if I point in the good direction, it's that way maybe. If I go in the other way, she's not there, we miss ah, the sign. So, so we know that the moose has got a collar around its neck, it emits a signal, we're picking it up with the big yeah. TV aerial. And we know almost where to go, but not exactly, but we try to find her. Let's go that Here way. Here we then. go. Yes, I'm here at the Zoo Sauvage in Quebec's Saguenay-Lac-Saint-Jean region and I'm on a mission to meet a moose. If the uh, moose can hear us coming, is that going to cause her any problems at all? No, because normally she knows what we are doing. She knows that we won't approach too much, so yeah. she is not really stressed by our presence, but we have at that moment she hears us, it's yeah. of course. She had really good hear, so she can hear us now, but normally she don't go away because she know that we won't go too close to her, Good. so she know we are not stressed. I don't want to cause any stress. No. Oh, is that weak? On est dans la bonne direction. Ooh, we we the are in way. the good way, but maybe not far. I don't know where she is, but we are in the good way, so we continue. Right We're on the good way. That's yeah. Positive. <laughs> this way, and she is somewhere oh, okay. right in front. So, so where so. now? Through here? Yeah, we will go through the wild. <laughs> We're off-roading. Let's yeah, off-road. Off-road. Okay. Now, what's just happened? As we've been walking through the bush here, we've managed to track down a little baby, um, uh, the child of the moose, if you like, using only my eyes. I didn't use the big TV aerial for this one, so I'm feeling very smug. But what this means is the mother must be close by. So we're going to have a bit of a skirt round and see what we can find. See, she's quite used to. She doesn't not doesn't seem remotely perturbed by our presence at all. She seems to be quite calm. Yeah. So it's got she's got one little baby over there. Has she got any other kind of? Uh... She has two. Maybe the other one must be close too. So maybe the two babies were together. Okay. We just saw one, but they are really good to hide. So that's the point. So maybe the the other baby was with her. We will try to approach and see maybe the the other one. Of okay. course, they are not far. How close can you safely get? How, how much distance should That's we leave? That's almost okay. We more close than that, it will it will stress her. So she will leave. If we go more close to her, she will leave. That of course. So there we go. Mission accomplished. All you need is a guide, a TV aerial, and a zoo.